everybody, welcome back. This is video number six in our teaching on deliverance and casting out demons. Um, in this video, we're gonna cover two topics. I'm gonna try to try to get through both of them quickly. It's we're gonna cover forgiveness slash unforgiveness, um, and we're gonna cover um, generational curses as well. We've already talked quite a bit about generational curses, but we will address those as well. Where we've been, we've talked about, uh, we've done an introduction about this course. Um, we've talked about this, uh, deliverance of the spirit being born again. Um, we've talked about interviewing the person. We've talked about leading them through Holy Spirit led, um, repentance. We've talked about ungodly spiritual bonds or soul ties. And now we're going to talk about forgiveness. So forgiveness absolutely can be a, a key to unlocking someone's freedom. Um, if they harbor unforgiveness, unforgiveness is a sin. It is an open door for the enemy. Um, we must forgive. There's going to be times where you know exactly who that person needs to forgive. If they talk about trauma in their life, if they talk about people that have hurt them, that have done just bad things to them, that, that they're going to need to forgive that person. Um, and, and that's hard. It can be really, really hard. But I'll tell you, one of the, one of the hardest forgivenesses that, that, that I've seen is forgiving themselves. When people have done bad things, some, a lot of times they have a hard time forgiving themselves and, and that can also be a roadblock to, to their freedom, their deliverance. So taking time with the Holy Spirit, praying and asking Holy Spirit, just like we did with, with the repentance part, just like we did with the ungodly soul ties or ungodly spiritual bonds, we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal who do they need to forgive. Okay. And then Holy Spirit's just going to start bringing stuff to their mind. Okay. He's just going to bring it up to them. It's, it's going to pop in their head of like a, they're going to have a memory of something that happened or they're going to have a person that pops in their head or they're going to have a name that comes up. Um, we're going to write all those down and then we're just going to have them go through and they're just going to just openly with their mouth, they're going to confess forgiveness. I choose to forgive. I think we used the name Bob last time. So I choose to forgive Bob uh, for, for doing these things. I, I, and then we're going to ask that they bless the person. So, and then father, will you bless Bob? And will you, will you have an encounter with him? Will you, will you draw him to yourself and reveal your love to him? Um, so we're going to forgive and we're going to bless, forgive and bless each person that needs to go through that. So the second thing we got enough time we're going to cover is generational curses. Uh, so we've already talked quite a bit about generational curses. Um, most of the time it is tied to sin. It's tied to uh, yeah, it's time to send it within your generational line. Okay. Um, so if we've already uncovered those, we've already uncovered some of those generational sins, maybe it's addiction, maybe it's, um, sexual immorality. Um, maybe it's idolatry or, um, a spirit of antichrist, especially if they maybe, uh, believed uh, a false religion like Mormonism or in Islam or, or, um, anything going back. If they were, if they were, uh, you know, we deal with this a lot in Latin America, but maybe their, their family was, um, the form of, of Catholicism that, that worships and worships saints and, and, and prays to saints, uh, in, in a worshipful way. Um, then we're going to, we're going to cut ties with that. We're going to have them renounce that. Um, Hopefully that makes sense. I don't want to go into too much detail on that, but we're going to have them go through and break all of that. Okay. And so that just looks like, um, going through, if you know the specific sin, if you know the specific thing, just have them go through, have them repent and reject it in the name of Jesus, um, and break the generational curse in the name of Jesus. So we use something like, like this. Um, and this is a general one. So if they're, if they're not sure, um, either way, I have them pray this one because I want to I want to make sure we get anything that we might have missed or they might have forgotten or they might not be thinking about. And that is, I repent and reject all sins of my ancestors on my mother's side and on my father's side, going back 10 generations. Um, I break every generational curse in my family line in the name of Jesus. It ends right now with me. And if you know the specific sin, then it could be something like I repent and reject of sexual immorality on my on my mother's side and my father's side back 10 generations and I break the generational curse in the name of Jesus, it stops with me, right? Something like that. So we're going to go through and we're going to go through and break every generational curse. Now, when you're going to do the deliverance part and you're actually commanding spirits, I'm going to repeat what's been done. And we're, we're going to talk about that a little bit later when we talk about commanding uh, demons to leave. 
But in our next section, in our uh, lesson seven, we're gonna kind of go over the instructions that you give a person that you're uh, ministering to. So we'll see you then.